As we go through a drought period and, the, and water evaporates from the ponds, uh, potential toxins will be concentrated in the water. And it's not always a problem, but it can be. Uh, water quality can certainly be an issue because of that evaporation and consumption of the water by the livestock. There are three or four primary things that producers can kind of keep an eye on or consider. There is a fact sheet available that talks about water quality in livestock. Uh, Dr. Josh Payne and Dr. Hyland Zhang have produced and it's very useful and very straightforward uh, uh, resource for producers. But primarily what we're talking about is uh, the possibility of uh, high concentrations of salt, which is measured as total soluble uh, salts, and then uh, potentially high nitrate nitrogen. And finally, there's a possibility in the late summer months in the really hot weather of blue-green algae. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that can be done about any one of these problems other than just moving the livestock to a different water source. Uh, and so the issue is, you know, maybe keeping an eye on, on that have it tested. You can send a water sample in to the Oklahoma Soil, Water, and Forage Analytical Laboratory. The cost is only about six dollars for their livestock water quality analysis. They're going to want a sample of about a pint in a non-breakable container like a plastic jar uh, and, and all the producer has to do is uh, maybe rinse that container out two or three times with the water that he intends to sample and send that off to the laboratory. Don't freeze it, make sure it stays cool and out of the sunlight and, uh, and kind of learn what those potential toxins would be in that particular water source.